Hey dad, it's me. Uh, as requested, got Heather's funny hat on. So uh, it's uh, a Saturday uh, and it's been busy around here. So we've got a lot of stuff uh, that's uh, continuing in progress. I think uh, kind of what we'll see is uh, maybe can't quite tell, but uh, it's nice having a full crew here, uh, which has uh, really uh, helped out a lot with the, the timeline. And uh, instead of starting downstairs, where I usually start, I thought I'd start upstairs uh, in the master uh, bathroom. Uh, kind of take you on a, a quick tour. And then Heather's got lots of things to show you outside. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, master, uh, master bathroom. So we're still, uh, I think we're kind of waiting to see uh, about uh, finalized paints uh, and that sort of thing. So we're just keeping everything covered. Uh, we've moved our move date uh, back yet again, so that we've got plenty of time to make sure that all of this stuff gets done uh, and done properly. Uh, so, but um, uh, we are uh, in here a little bit. So we've got Maritza, uh, I think we mentioned to you, she's been up here cleaning, uh, which is quite the task, uh, uh, quite the... Uh, Quite the ask uh, to uh, to have her do that. Um, Heather has been talking to Matt, uh, who's our custom mirrors and glass person. So they just had a like an hour long conversation uh, yesterday uh, for this mirror and this mirror. So uh, they're going to be pretty exciting uh, to get that stuff in. Uh, our uh, new general contractor, actual general contractor, is here. Um, so checking out doors and his, uh, his final trim carpenter is here. So uh, they're gonna be taking a look at replicating the, uh, the moldings that are on the floor here. You can kind of see it, maybe that's a better view. Uh, they're gonna replicate those uh, all throughout the closet. So the reason for this gap that we see here is this floor used to be part of the, the bathroom slash closet and all the floors were marble. And so they had the same height that that room has, but I don't know if you can see the kind of the, it's a bit of a transition step down. And so that's why we end up with this kind of gap over here. So the trim carpenter will replicate these, uh, these pieces, but also replicate the, the wrap trim to go into these spots uh, where it's needed. Uh, in addition to framing these out, uh, the, the doors out in the same profile as the framing throughout the rest of the house. So that's gonna be pretty exciting. So his name is Marvin and he's, and he's here. Uh, he and our uh, Jacob are going through um, their, uh, their checklist and their uh, items list. So. Uh, I wanted to show you this a little bit more because uh, not only is this a uh, pretty spectacular uh, job by California Closets, but there's some details in here that we really didn't cover before, including this island, uh, which is nice. Um, so these are not uh, what I would call um, super high-end, but they are super practical and super um, sturdy, uh, which you kind of need uh, for such a a high traffic area that this is going to end up being so um, but it's nice to have these uh, kinds of extra storage throughout and uh, nice to uh, nice to be able to start to actually move in here oh one of the other things I wanted to mention was Maritza came in here and with a fine tooth comb uh, made sure everything was super clean so all this stuff a little bit of no uh, nope, I'm gonna say that's uh, that's pretty clean. Uh, we're of course waiting on some final mechanical. So that's our air supply. That's our speaker uh, cutout because we're gonna have uh, speakers in here. And then Heather, I think, has potentially identified a chandelier that might go in here. Uh, and then the other thing we have to do is these lights apparently are well, uh, hard to find and not reliable. Uh, cheap, I think is the word that's been used. 
So we're probably going to go with uh, what our new electrician is recommending. Uh, so these will come out pretty much throughout the upstairs um, and, uh, and get replaced. We're still missing the cutouts in the master bathroom. So I'll go that way real quickly and show you. This is uh, all of our finished plumbing, by the way. So for the, the shower and for the sink. Oh, and then um, uh, Matt's going to do, of course, the, the glass wall and door that's going to go up. So the door will only go up so much. That's our exhaust vent uh, for the bathroom. Again, speakers, air supply, speaker, air supply. Uh, we have one light cut out, but we need uh, one and then another one in the shower. I think that's where those go. Uh, and then in the uh, closet in here, we've got uh, another supply and we've got a exhaust vent, but in the middle, nothing. So we have to have a light in here, obviously. And again, the door. And again, this whole uh, profile concept, which we'll replicate. Actually, I think what we're doing in here uh, is going to be uh, a stone uh, surround that matches the panda. And the panda is this, uh, this black and white stone that you can see here through the, uh, through the covering. So, and of course on the door, we have this, uh, this beautiful avocado frame. I think I've showed that to you before multiple times. I think uh, last time we talked about how we're going to probably bridge this with either wood or a stone uh, to kind of go in this, this spot here. Um, we'll get this, I think I mentioned this to you as well, we'll get this covered, uh, recovered. So all that old wood will come up and we'll put down a, a composite, which is good on the feet. A little cooler as well, but no splinters, no nail heads, none of that kind of stuff, which is exciting. So, uh, let's see. Um, again, this nothing much has changed here. Uh, I don't know if I if we had these up here before. These are our, uh, I think I probably mentioned to you our big ass fans, our fan that goes uh, out on the lanai, which I want to say is let's see if it says it on here. I want to say is like a sixty inch. It's going to be pretty pretty large to go up there. Um, I think it's it maybe even be six feet in diameter. So it could be 72 inch. And then in here we'll have a fan uh, because I'm a Kriffmeyer and uh, you gotta have a fan, right, in your bedroom. So and I think this is like a 55 inch. So not as big, but uh, it'll match the two. The two fans are the, the same design and they'll match. So again, our speakers and our gotta have a TV in your bedroom. Um, so I love my wife, Bunny's great about having a TV in the bedroom, which is awesome. So super excited about that. Uh, new windows, which I think we showed you before. So it's a, it's a pretty day here. We thought it was going to be rainy all day. Uh, and one of the other things is, is uh, we've got a, a new robot for the uh, pool. So I'll show that to you probably at the end of the video. Uh, and then we've been working on landscaping, which what Heather will show you. But uh, nice to have that stuff to come together as well. So uh, let's go. Let's see. Um, we're across the bridge. So we talked about these lights being replaced. We have to redo all the paint on all the trim because I think we, as we talked about uh, yesterday, uh, they covered everything in a water-based paint, but it needs oil-based primer uh, and oil-based paint. So we'll be going through those sort of things. Again, more lights. This is the other thing we found out is that this is the only wired uh, smoke alarm in, uh, in the upstairs. So we'll likely have to have uh, the electrician uh, for each room wire uh, more of these. Uh, our unfinished but new attic access, uh, and that looks like junk, unfortunately. And then this is the other thing we just saw that even after they painted the ceiling, well, Maybe they painted the ceiling. We're not entirely sure. That's been, that's not good. Uh, let's see. We've got to track down our hardware that they took off. We found one piece. Uh, this is our internet that's out. So we got to get that fixed. Uh, I think we mentioned we got a bunch of equipment delivered, thankfully. So that's going to get uh, 
bed it out eventually. We left all of this rough. I don't know if I explained this to you before, but this is the inside of the of the closet. And so the, let's see if I can get that door open to show you uh, the, uh, and this paints, look at this. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay, so get that door open. I need to get the hardware, but you can see how these walls, these kind of Formica walls are put in here so that they can hold up this. And we didn't want to lose this just yet until we got a chance to do it. So we just left that wall there um, rough uh, on, on purpose uh, because we wanted to keep we wanted to keep all of this room. But we think that if we redo this closet, we can push that wall further that way. Uh, and we didn't want to do it. We were just trying to get um, the fake GC out. Uh, so we think we can actually bring this wall closer to the rack over here. Uh, I know it's only whatever that is about a foot or so. Uh, but then we can, once that's done, we can finish all this out, but it's nice. It's got its own air supply in here as well, uh, which is good. Uh, it's got plenty of obviously ventilation for any kind of heat that's going to get produced. And these things don't really run terribly hot. Uh, so, uh, we've got that, uh, again, the girl's room. Sure, I think I told you last time we hadn't painted or did a, at least a, a not so great job in here. But I do love our crown molding, I'm not gonna lie. This is um, this whole neo Georgian uh, architecture that we have in the house and in the house itself is, uh, is it's quite nice, can't lie. So, this is gonna have to get trimmed out. This is a new window that we had to put in because you have to have uh, egress. And this is the largest egress window we could have, which is actually about, I wanna say, whatever that is, eight inches uh, narrower. Uh, so, yeah, something like that. This is where, we're gonna, we're gonna paint this, of course, but this is gonna be where the Aquapellus water system is that goes to our shower in the master bedroom. Um, this is, uh, gets you the most pure water possible, but also you can uh, add uh, nutrients. Uh, it's supposed to be good for your skin, your hair, your health. Uh, it's even been purported to uh, cure hangovers, which is not something that we uh, need per se, but it is nice to know that the, the health is there. So. And I think I mentioned to you uh, before as well that uh, we're, we'll be remodeling this. They did, uh, we had to put, we had to cut this, uh, this cabinet out, this cabinet top rather. And they actually did a really nice job. But they came in and did this by hand and cut this out so that we could actually get to the top of our dual flush uh, Toto here uh, and actually be able to do that. So this is um, actually quite nice. We'll, we'll keep, I, I think all of this, we'll get new hardware. Um, we'll probably, I don't know, we might do new sinks, we may not, uh, but we'll definitely get new hardware, um, and maybe new, uh, cabinet fronts, but we're going to keep the floor. You can see the floor there. This is, uh, pretty marble. Uh, I think I mentioned to you where it's coming back in the style, but all of this, this whole shower area will come out. And then Heather and I were just talking about what we want to do with this odd fur down. Um, but we'll have to have the electrician and general contractor come in and talk to us a little bit about that. So that said, uh, looks like cleaning supplies, <laughs> got stuff kind of everywhere in here. So what they're going to do is, uh, they're going to finish this room back here first. So this is going to kind of be the, what we'll call the most important room. Oh, and they're already in here working. Wow. Look at that. Going to town. Um, so, uh, because when we, uh, take our trip, uh, we're going to have this room done before we go, uh, so that we can take all our stuff out of the rental and put it into here. So, um, get up, get out of their way because they're working hard. Um, this is, uh, this is still kind of a, wow, still kind of a cluster. <clears throat> So, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see what's downstairs. Got lots of activity going on. Um, oh, I also meant to mention to you before I leave uh, over here. 
This, this is wired for our control four. So you can run the security, you can run lights, you can run uh, audio visual for the whole house off of this keypad. And there's another, uh, there's a sister to this uh, down in the kitchen. But all of these, so all the thermostats are all linked uh, to that system. So you can run the thermostats as well. You can do all of this from your phone. Um, these will all get replaced with, uh, with uh, things that are connected to the same system. So you can run lights, uh, all of those things. So pretty, pretty exciting uh, to have that home automation done um, to route through all the security. So our, our cameras that we have, uh, I've got eight cameras on the perimeter of the house, uh, which, is, uh, which is great. So lots of good security. This again, uh, the downstairs guest, and it has lots of progress. So nice to get all of this stuff done. It's amazing. This is uh, all the stuff from Asher's uh, school so that he didn't need when he went to camp. Uh, so he's got all of this stuff. Uh, we just kind of put it in the middle here. They're gonna take all of these, all of these holes that have been created um, here for what were old outlets, as I guess. Uh, they're going to plug those with wood. Uh, so they'll glue wood into it. They'll kind of put a skim of Bondo over it. And then they'll sand it and prime it and paint it. So in other words, we're gonna quote unquote do it the right way. So. And of course, paint that needs to be done from the window install. These sort of things that need to come out will come out, get patched. Um, so pretty, pretty amazing, uh, pretty good stuff. This is the downstairs. Oh, and there's Heather. Heather's doing her video. So I wonder if I can talk her into doing landscape like I do as, as opposed to the, uh, the portrait that she does like that. So, but uh, I'm, I'm sure she's uh, telling you good stuff that we'll get to hear about. So more landscaping in here. Uh, look at this. They actually taped all of the toilets down uh, throughout the house. What, what a miracle. What, what, uh, what can I say? Professional. So pretty, pretty scary. Uh, so this, uh, not only will this get redone, but at least they patched all the holes that were in here from the upstairs work that we did. So we've got our, you know, our supply and our exhaust and that clearly needs to get replaced um, and, and renovated at some point. Uh, one of the favorite things that we have is, uh, we talked about replacing the, all of these, um, uh, all of this hardware, all this plumbing. Oops. <laughs> so I'm not real sure uh, if this was original or not, but it's a nice medicine cabinet. Don't get me wrong. And I, I kind of like the idea. Uh, that's just silly though. <laughs> so, uh, nonetheless, uh, and actually this, uh, this shower is not terribly offensive, but what we do want to do is take the tub out because since this is on the ground floor, uh, we want to make it this as easy as, uh, as possible for, for guests. So we'll just have a, um, a teeny tiny little step, um, to, to go into what would just be a stand up shower. Uh, there's no reason to have the tub down here. Got plenty of tubs throughout the house, um, if we, you know, if so needed. Uh, but so there's that. Uh, let's see, lots of fun stuff. You know, and every time I come to the house, I, I, I recognize or, or I get exposed to new things. Like the the size of this jam for this uh, entryway is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, with the trim above it, it again has to get redone. But just, you know, noticing new things as I come through every time. It's starting to actually feel like our house, which is uh, nice. A little scary, but, but nice. So, again, electrical has to be finished out. Uh, we did make this provision in here for TV. Uh, kind of, this is the, I'll call it the northwest wall. And then the south well, I guess we'll just call that east. That's probably east. Uh, east for the fireplace, west for the uh, TV. And then what you can see here, this is all of our uh, all of our AV equipment that got delivered. So we've got 18 speakers throughout the house. Uh, we've got, um, these are <clears throat> dual uh, eight inch subwoofers uh, that will go 
eventually into the family room downstairs. Got a bunch of um, all kinds of fun stuff in here in the sense that this is, uh, these are our access points for internet. So no matter where you go in the house, uh, we have uh, a strong internet signal, uh, which is nice, including outside. So pretty, pretty awesome stuff. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, all these white strips are, uh, once we get the final inspection for the, the windows and the doors, they'll actually go into those gaps. Uh, they need to see where the screws are and then make sure that they were installed properly. But all of this stuff is, are, is the filler panels for those. We've got our new toilets, which will go in um, eventually. We've got our old chandelier from the dining room that we'll get put somewhere. And then these are all these switches we were talking about. So all the wall switches uh, that are all connected uh, to uh, this, the control four system so you can run lights uh, and you can program them and do all kinds of, uh, all kinds of fun stuff. So, uh, and it's, it's nice because you know, the house is very long and you wanna be able to turn a light on as you're going into rooms. Oh, dad, this is Jim. Jim is one of our good friends. Uh, Jim is with uh, East Coast Air Solutions. Uh, uh, my name is Jim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you can see why he's one of our favorite people. So, uh, again, hey, oh, that's uh, it looks like Bunny's up there with our GC and some of his guys. So, kinds of good stuff. Our door, which needs to get cleaned, as I mentioned before, at some point. Let me get out of Jim's way because he's on the phone. No, I'm oh, now he's done. Now he's done. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, speakers going in here, lights going in here, holes getting patched in here. Um, again, I showed this to you last time with this beautiful view of our um, of our magnolia out here, which I heard. Yep, sure enough, there you go. It's blooming. I'm sure Heather will show you that, but pretty exciting. Good stuff. Um, we pre-wired all of this for a TV as well. Again. Heather has the view of this being like a, uh, we'll call it a gentleman's lounge. Comfy seats, lots of leather, uh, lots of, um, uh, we're wiring it for art uh, and lights and, and accent lighting and that sort of stuff. Um, but someplace where, uh, you know, it's it's more of an intimate area. So it's, uh, it's a smaller room, uh, but we'll have, you know, AV in it, and, uh, which will be nice and, she even talked about maybe putting in a, uh, like maybe modifying this for a bar or something. But uh, so we'll have to see. You know, we're gonna get spoiled for for options of how to use spaces, uh, which is exciting. So, uh, these are I mentioned before the cabinets uh, that are going into various places. We're getting the hood installed. I'll show you that in a second. Um, this looks like it's getting prepped. We actually are gonna do a new piece of trim that goes right below that trim. So it'll be very flat, but it will come down uh, and look uh, pretty like the old trim that was up there, but much more, less decorative, less flowers and in, uh, in fruits and more uh, flat, uh, but it'll be nice. And then of course we'll have to sand and prime and, and do all that sort of thing with this, uh, uh, this uh, the ceiling work. Yes, Heather. So, there she is. Hi, Heather. Hey. You're gonna have to piece this video together. We're gonna walk through with Marvin in the study how we're gonna do the lights. Okay. So we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Okay, Dad. We're back. <laughs> My hair's washed. First time in 10 days. Oh, very good. Nice. Right, and under a hat, so there you go. Uh, so they've been working very hard on all of the, uh, all the drywall uh, in here. So it's Daniel. It's Daniel. Daniel working. Doing his, doing his best. Say hi, Dad. You just said, boy. <laughs> yeah, I did not. You're on YouTube. I said, <laughs> we have five, five I said you're doing your. I said you're oh. doing your best job. Say hi to my dad. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> oh, I don't know his last name. Mr. Uh, Mr. Driftmeyer. Driftmeyer? There you go. Oh, right. <laughs> so our pantry that's uh, it's looking good, coming together. Uh, and then we're supposed to, there's Jim again. Uh, and Jim! They're installing the, the hood, which is, this is our, what we call our temporary hood. So this is our um, Thermador that I got off the internet for $100. So, uh, and it 
takes more to ship it and install it than it, it costs me to buy it, but it's going to get us to pass inspection. And that's all we want. So this is our stove. It's got delivered. Uh, it needs to be converted to, uh, to the propane tank uh, and then installed, and installed in the spot so that we can get the templates made. So the electric still going to needs to go in here. It's got a change in here because they messed it up. Um, oh, looks like they got that done. That, so this was another mess up that they did. Um, they had they needed two dedicated outlets for the refrigerator and the freezer, but the electrician, the original electrician, messed it up and it's been fixed, which is awesome. So I wonder if they fixed underneath there. I'm not going to look because the hood's in the line. But uh, we're kind of waiting a little bit on this work for the rest of the countertops and templates. This is our, our thermidors, our uh, freezer uh, and fridge, or fridge and freezer, I'm not entirely sure. There's our two, the uh, rest of our um, uh, galley sink uh, stuff. But then also, uh, these are the uh, dishwashers, the two dishwashers that we'll have on either side of the sink. So there's the Thermidor as well, which is exciting, and all the other stuff that goes with it. So final trim, as I mentioned, we'll fix that, uh, case that out, and hopefully, I think what we'd like to do, what do you think, Heather? Make this essentially hidden like the guest room is hidden, in the sense that it'll be... Yeah, yeah, it's two side door. Yeah. So, uh, kind of trying to make that... Uh, this is side door, possible wine fridge, possible not, possible doggy bed. <laughs> lots of possibilities, as I uh, mentioned. Dog food, <laughs> as I eating area. As I mentioned before, lots of, lots of opportunities. They're going to fix this kind of stuff that got hacked when they did the installs. But, uh, yeah, that's what we've got. This is, uh, they're going to rewire this. So this is for all the uh, AV that's supposed to be on this wall. All this stuff, uh, like the speakers, the subwoofers we were talking about, uh, all of that sort of thing, that all actually needs to get tucked into the wall and then brought back down such that it comes out of the wall. Um, so we have TV there. Um, oh, they did actually put an outlet there, uh, which we didn't think that they had done, but that's nice. Good to see that. Uh, so, and of course, the, the trim needs to be continued, but we may put a media cabinet through here, probably to house the speakers and just give us some storage that we need because our kitchen, believe it or not, doesn't have a lot of storage. So, <laughs> but, scarily and sadly, does not have a lot of, <laughs> looks like a lot of cabinets, not a lot of space. Yeah, so, okay, well, that's that. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye, love you. So for fun, this little guy had bloomed. Clint, oh, you can still see part of a bloom here and you can see the budding here. Let me back up there, put the camera in. This guy normally only does this in winter, but he's so happy here. He still, I guess, feels cool enough that he's budding. So he likes his home. He's got a nice breeze because we've taken things out. So we haven't gotten this part landscaped yet, as you can see, we got holes, but that's all right to be coming in. So here's where we started. So that's um, something that was already there. It's a, I think a coffee or a cocoa buds, white buds and the bees love it. But this is new, all new monkey grass. I don't remember the name of this guy. I'll have to look it up. So all of our new grass is in the back there that'll fill in the space. This is a silver button woods. We mulched up here, which looks real nice. Their monkey grass and our Florida native grass is back here. Another silver button woods along our driveway because I'm in the driveway now. As you can see. I'm going to come back so you guys can see the other side because it's going to get real exciting. So we've got a, uh, I think that's a fire, st fire, not stick, fire spike. Thank you, Heather. Brain's working. And this is a fire bush. I mean, birds like it. Let me get a little closer to it. You guys probably know this one. Or have seen it before. Little flowers, really cute. There's a baby. We've got some babies that have come up since we got rid of our contractor. Huh, funny. 
another fire bush here. You can see it's got a little more red versus that yellow coral. So we got two colors variety wise. You can see some babies around it. More monkey grass, same little yellow flower. Oh, that's a sea grape, gotta get rid of that. Beautiful. So Florida native grasses, and this actually looks like a feather once it blooms out. Those are saw palmettos that are babies. We added to our more feather grass, feather grass, feather grass, saw palmetto, saw palmetto. Feather grass, saw palmettos, feather grass, saw palmettos. New pine tree forest back here, y'all. We added pines. We, add, we have seven now instead of three. We got some silver buttonwoods, some more. Fire spike. That's what that one is, is fire spike. That's all red. See how it's different shaped leaf and looks like a uh, the same little flower as the fire bush. It's a fire spike. So here we've put uh, silver buttonwoods. Uh, we're gonna have to take down the silver buttonwoods on this side, but it looks really good because it's a uh, parking pad. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. Let me back up so you guys get a better view of it. So we added, that is a full 10 feet of doors that open so that we can put a box truck in here for party rentals or landscaping truck in here for doing landscaping. Created a parking pad. Again, we are, we're just gonna relocate these three buttonwoods because we're gonna end up using that space that's really long. I think it's about 15 feet um, for our board storage so it doesn't get the direct sun like we talked about with dad. So we, we're going to get landscape it a little bit so it'll keep um, sun off of it um, on the other side. How good does that look? We're ready for a golf cart now and a fire spike right here. So we're going to change those lights out and get new garage doors. But now to look out this way, this is fun. So we've had our pavers to that point. Now you can see the gravel that's been laid. So our driveway used to come to here. Now we're pushing our driveway all the way over to here and we're gonna have double wide parking here. So all our, our pavers are pulled up. We're gonna pull back to here and we're gonna lay rock in here as well. So our driveway is gonna be two cars where you can park. So whenever we have a party, we have a lot of parking at our house and you can see our driveway is going to go to right here. We're cutting this off. It keeps coming this way. This is an entry point here with the awning. It still has a hole that needs to be fixed. But we have the money for that, so it's okay. So you can see we're going to come about uh, two feet off the house or 18 inches ish. Come around here. We moved our lights, our up lights for the trees, and you can see some of our landscaping that hasn't been planted yet. Those are some babies. They're probably gonna go to the back. So right here, we'll come and match back up to our single white. And we might change the shape of this just a little bit more, depending on how we use these big planter boxes here in front of the house. So that's the changes here. I'll walk you guys around the other way because the snake likes to hide underneath that other fence row, which is, I don't want to disturb him. Let him live in his peaceful world. He eats mice and rats, so hopefully lizards. Lord knows we got enough of those. So here, another coffee, which is good. Our tree's sprouting a baby. Now he told me that that won't, we can't like pick him up and plant him anywhere else. He's got to stay there and 15 years will be ready to take up. I said, oh, that's a bummer. Oh, there's a croton that got up back there. I have to show Clint. Get rid of that non-native crappy crap. But our saw palmettos, this guy's looking a little weepy here in the front, but Overall, we've got irrigation going to all these guys now, so you can see the lines running. So, we've got a guy that comes once or twice a week and waters. Uh, we gotta get that Simpson stopper out. He didn't make it, which the guy said it, he wouldn't, he didn't wanna even dig it, but too late. We were bad. This guy's still 
doing well. Same as last time. So we've got herple coming out soon. We're gonna get this stone fixed here. Uh, whew, wow, Tim made a big dent on that guy. So um, we're probably gonna pull this pad in a little bit and just square it up with the house to kind of take this off and do some thing. We talked about removing some of these because a lot of them are cracked. So, um, but what we've done here is we've taken out all the old, and what you can see is left that this is just poured concrete. And so they've demoed all of that. And so we're fixing this up now where we get the cast stone people to come in, match up a stone and fix this out right. So it's odd. We're getting the uh, stone fixed here as well. Good look at the pool. We need to get Bot back out so he can do his job. Um, some samples, sadly, but oh, here, he, this is classic. Look at that guy. Getting ready to bloom. Talk about budding, right? Up there, flower. Happy campers. Oh, so here's the shrubbery. Oh, the shrubbery. That's my nemesis thus far. Trimmed down our gardenia. Um, Got to get the pool guys, a professional pool man, to come and fix that. Darn, we lost a stone there. We got to move that pool equipment. Um, it's just a 110 outlet, so that'll be for a kitchen whenever we get it up and running oh my favorite part of the whole property was this guy that's just been living the dream for a long time and <sighs> makes me so happy so beautiful it's just so beautiful sorry i'm looking at it myself <laughs> stop and pause and I love this just one guy just that one guy so we transferred um I can see if we got a, I could show you like the baby here so this is the baby right so that's a whole new plant or we'll grow a whole new plant it looks like cotton and so I gave one to Clint and we transferred one from here over to our oak so he'll start growing our plants as well this guy who's just living the dream. I mean, look at that color. That's our favorite tree. Then this is the weird called sea plum. Very rare tree. And everyone that I've looked at is small, looks just like this. But I would have thought the ones I've seen, once they get this tall, they um, have a lot more foliage that grows outward at the top. This one looks more like a long, tall mushroom. You can see his root system. He's got an awesome trunk system. And so he's starting to spread out. Um, he's actually probably moved about a good five feet out compared to what he was because he was choked in here with some ugly old trees that we removed. Sorry guys, I'm watching the ground and not, um, we just got a few snakes out here. So just don't want to step on one. The good news is they're slow movers and um, they won't mess with me. It's just more like getting out of the way. So here is our other oak. Let me pull back. Watch behind me. I just, they are so happy. You can see, like, look at the branches, how they're wrapping around that. This is how they exist in nature also, is what I was told that um, the, uh, I think it's sage palm. I forget the, the name. Works well with the, the oak, lives in nature with the oak tree. So it is getting happy with its friend and neighbor. It's like a little marriage. Hmm. Cute. My nemesis shrubbery. My wax myrtle that's come 
back to life because he's now got water on him 24 7 he's just a little thin in the middle he lost his leaves in the middle but he's got leaves on the top and a lot of leaves on the bottom he's in the corner i'll get a little closer we've disturbed the snakes area a couple times this week so i don't know where it'll be but don't see him here There you go, you can see that guy's alive. So got some coffee down here, plants. These are called our sunburns, the gumbo limbo. And again, you can see him budding out. He's doing good. Look at those little tiny buds, oh my gosh. They're so cute. He's gonna be happy with his friends. We'll end up landscaping back here some more, but for right now, um, after we landscape the pool, it's gonna be next week's video um we'll probably work on this wall this fence row piece and this wall everything else is gonna probably stay super the same we need to get the fence fixed up for the dogs for when we move in so we need cover there and I think we need a little bit of cover back there which you can see is that's the door right here it's the door to the outside but over in here we got to get something uh that side sorry right there we got to get something put in there that um, kind of keeps the dogs from watching all the people walk by because this is direct access to the ocean this is called beachway drive beachfront avenue okay here's where i want to put solar one of the places i got two places that i want to put it i really would love to have solar on this side of the house and there's a there's a cutout which i'm gonna walk you back to the highest side of the house where you guys can see it this is our graveyard of stuff that we can come back to and reuse lighting shingles for the roof the hose master beast and my second place where I want, definitely want to put solar panels is on top of the connection point here in the living room, just straight up on top because it will catch a ton of sun. So that's it y'all. According to Clint, that's the best looking Magnolia in Palm Beach County. And he should know because he does a lot of work But he likes my, uh, my magnolia. I do too. But I think we both uh, like the ligostrum with the ear plant the best. So here's the outside, guys. It's going to change soon. This stuff above the windows is going to come down because those are old uh, hurricane shutter stuff. Like these plugs, you'll see that that will get patched over and become smooth. No more old hurricane, the old school way where you just put shutters over the outside of hurricane and impact windows. So we are protected. That's uh, good news. And our fancy water system, RO water, reverse osmosis. Okay. It's our white birds of paradise. You can see his heart here. This is the birds. They just flowered out and are done, but it's really cool to see how bird nest like that is. Oh, here's one. Here's a flower. Gorgeous. Just so pretty. You know, Dad, I like to make long winded videos for you, just for you. Gotta get that croton out of there. Okay, I'm gonna shut down because I need to take a picture of that. Love you guys. I want to see you soon. I'm a little winded. COVID kind of got me licked a little bit. So <clears throat> we'll chat soon. I love you.